Welcome back to Brunette Wig Place. I'm Lisa. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and then you'll get a notification every time I post a new wig related video. So today I am wearing a really cute style. This is Finn by Aesthetica and it is in one of their new coffee colors called Toffee Latte and the shade um, if you're a shade number person, the uh, number code for this is 1220RT8. So we have a an, an root of eight that goes into these really pretty caramely highlights. So I've never reviewed Finn, and when I saw that they came out with these coffee colors, I was like, I wanna try one of those, but I'm not sure which one's gonna work with my skin tone. So I decided on Toffee Latte because I had seen it on some other reviewers and it looked a little bit warmer, and I just thought it would work better on me, and I'm very, very pleased with the shade with my skin tone and everything. So this wig, I, I didn't review Finn in the past because I was just afraid she'd just look like she'd be too much hair on me and, and just, a little too much for my face and everything, but I'm really pleased with her. She does have permatease. She's an extended lace front. And then of course there's permatease up here on the cap because it goes into basic cap from then on and you need, they have to put some teasing and stuff to cover that cap on the top. And I am super pleased with it. So I'll show it to you in a minute. It almost, I mean, to me, it looks like the part goes all the way back. It doesn't even look like it goes into the basic cap. So I'm really, really pleased with it. And it's just a soft, beautiful curl. I put on a kimono with my review today because I put her on and I was like, I feel like Stevie Nicks. <laughs> I feel super cool, like I'm Stevie Nicks. So um, hopefully y'all are a fan, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I, I just feel like it just reminds me of just a natural, soft, boho type of a curl, you know, just a layered curl style that's, I just love the way the curls fall. They are so pretty, so. Anyway, I'm super excited about her and I'm really pleased because there's just some wigs you don't know if they're gonna work. And this is why I love to do wig reviews and to show you all these because you might be surprised at some of these styles that you might look at it on the model or other people and think, I can't wear that. And then you realize, oh wait, maybe I can. So anyway, I hope this helps you make that decision too. So let me do a turn and we'll look at her all the way around and then we'll get into all of her specs and stuff. But she's super fun, so I'm just really enjoying her. Okay, so. Here's the front. I like the way this layer kind of is sweeping over my forehead. Now, of course, all I can speak to is the wig that's on my head. I don't know if they all do that, um, but you could, of course, steam that back if you like that you know, layer to go back. You do have that lace front, which is nice, but I really like the way she's just falling gently in front of the face, and then she goes into this curl. Really pretty. Here's my right side. Make sure you can see her all the way the back. My left side. She's so pretty. And back to the front. Okay, so as far as her measurements, this bang is 9.75. So it is longer. You, you know, you do have a 9.75 layer here. So if you wanted to, you could cut a bang across there. I have seen her actually with a bang cut in and it looks cute. You might have to do some steaming, you know, to get those bangs to lay right or have your stylist do it if you're, if that's not your thing. But I do think she could have a bang put in. Uh, she has 10 inch sides. She is 13, excuse me, 13 and a half inches from the crown. And she has a 6.75 inch nape, which gives you room, you know, length back there for styling and we'll get into the styling at the end of the video you can do some really cute updos and things like that with her just have some sexy curls you know around your face she's just really a cool style I'm really pleased so um I will show you her lace front sorry I pushed the wig back aesthetical wigs do fit me a little large so um this is one that I would definitely be putting some tape, you know, just to hold her in place for me. But the, the cap's not too big on me, but there's definitely room for stretch. That's one thing about Aesthetica caps, they are known for having stretch, which is nice. They accommodate a lot of different head sizes. So here is that lace front, really nice. I think that this, the color placement is very nice with the lace front, looks really, really good. So here is that part. So technically the part only goes to here but I swear it 
it just gives an illusion like it goes all the way back without a problem. There's no mono back here. I don't know, it just looks very natural to me. I guess with all the curls and the, you know, the volume in the style, it just disguises it. And But there's none of that little permatease stuff that's sticking up that, you know, looks bird's nesty or anything like that. It looks very good, very natural, just like curly hair, you know. So, super cute. Really pleased with it. Her ear tabs are good. You know, I've got good coverage. I do have a tiny bit of bio hair there, so you can kind of gauge you know how that might fall on you. You might have a little bit of hair that shows there. It's got a nice piece of metal, big piece of metal. The ear tabs are staying nice and flush. Um, this cap, like I said, is a little large on me, but I am not getting weight on my ears. So she must fit me pretty good ear to ear. Her, um, you know, extra cap is more in the forehead to nape uh, measurement and then around. So I did pull the adjusters in a little bit so that she would fit me better. So try to cover everything about her cap that I can for y'all. Okay, so I'll pop her off. We can look at her from the inside. So here is what I'm talking about. She has an extended lace front. That's a pretty, pretty wide lace front. That's one thing I do like about this cap style that they do is that you have a lot of lace front there. So you do have a lot of appearance of monofilament there in your parting area. Very nice. So you've got closed lace here, and that's where you have some permatease. You've got open wefted ear tabs that have a nice piece of metal. This is your typical, you know, the rest of the cap construction is very typical of Aesthetica that you've seen before. Open wefted. She has hook adjusters. And she has an open wefted extended nape. This is the same uh, cap construction I've reviewed Mackenzie before, and Mackenzie, I felt the same way. I just felt like the wig it gave the wig some volume and things like that, but it, you know, it still looked natural, in my opinion, on the top, which I really, really liked. So, very pretty. Okay, so let's talk about toffee latte. Doesn't that just make you want to go and get a coffee and sit, I don't know, buy some water and enjoy the outdoors or something? I don't know. It's beautiful. I love the, it gives me a beautiful picture in my mind of, you know, Either that or eating candy, right? Ah, toffee latte. Anyway, so here we go. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm just getting a little goofy today. Um, so the color code, like I said, is 1220RT8. So this brunette that you're seeing throughout the color is an 8. It's nice. It's not too dark. So if you're not wanting to go too dark, you know, with the rooting but you definitely do have rooting. You have this long rooting. And then you have this um, these painted on highlights with these coffee colors, which is an, an, a new concept for them with doing their coloring, which is, it looks really, really cool. So they, it, they describe it as a light chestnut brown base with painted caramel blonde highlights. And I think that's an excellent description. That is exactly what I would say. These are very caramely looking. Very pretty. The highlights do then, the blonde goes all the way down to the tips, as you can see. Just gives it a lot of dimension. Looks very much like salon highlighted hair. I just think it's super pretty. Really pretty. Okay, let's take her outside and we'll look at Toffee Latte out in the natural light. So initially we are under the patio cover, showing you Toffee Latte on the thin wig by Aesthetica. This is so pretty. These are some of the coolest highlights I've seen on a wig in a while. There's that lace front. There's that mono. Like I said, it goes all up, you know, halfway back, so really nice. It's nice that you have that looting, and then you start to go into these gorgeous painted on highlights. So pretty. Okay, we can move. It's kind of partly sunny today. It was bright sunny, so there'll be a little bit of sun. 
color is very natural. I always think that um, Aesthetica wigs are nice. There's, they, they aren't super shiny. Here comes the sun. Good. I want you to be able to see her in some sunlight. But the fibers are very natural. I don't know. I just feel sexy in this hair, y'all. I can't help it. So we're back inside. Let's talk about some styling for Finn. So she does have a lot of layering, some curl. Um, I have not run a comb through here. I, all I did was just finger comb because I don't want to pull these curls out. They are so pretty. And so I would recommend that you're gentle with your combing. Maybe comb, you know, under the nape if you're getting a little tangling. But I'm not having, she's not tangling on me, you know, at all thus far. She is fairly new, of course, but, um, you know, I just wouldn't rake through those. I would kind of just comb, you know, pull through them gently with your fingers. Um, maybe scrunch her after you wash her, maybe scrunch her with your hands, you know, and just keep that curl in there. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'll cover glasses first. I don't really think she is the most ear tuckable style. Um, because she has this volume... To me, it's kind of a lot behind the ears. So I put it behind the ears just so you can see the glasses. The glasses are not an issue. I, I, I can get my glasses on and off easily over the ear tabs, no problem. Um, but I just will say, I, I don't really, I mean, I can tuck her behind the ears. It's not uncomfortable or anything, but she is full and I tend to be more comfortable with ear tucking on a piece that's not this full. I think she's pretty just leaving the sides down too. So um, I was thinking, you know, you could do your headbands, you can do your clips, you can do all that kind of stuff with her. But I was thinking, she has a scarf vibe. Like, I think she would look so cool with a scarf just tied on her. I mean, how pretty does that look? So romantic. Like I said, little Stevie Nicks vibe going. Really cute. And then, of course, you could, you know, you could um, use it as a headband, too. Probably for purposes of the video, it would be easier for me to show you with a headband. But a headband looks really cute in her. But you could tie that scarf in and tie it underneath. Really pretty. And then you could also just stick the headband in. And that would look cute with her, too. really cute okay and then you've got you know any kind of clip you could clip back the front because you have a lace front you can clip that front back you could just clip it back I don't know I just love that side so much you could decorate the opposite side maybe with a clip leave that pretty curl in your face she's cute so she does have enough length for pulling her back the thing is she does have these layers. So you can pull her back and clip her back, but these layers are gonna kinda wanna fall down and that looks really pretty. So that's how I would do it. I would let those layers fall down, clip her back really just softly and loosely back there. Let some curls come around your face, you know, play up the romantic, pretty, aspect to these gorgeous curls and then as far as you know I think you could do I think I would go more for like a <clears throat> excuse me a low pony again those little tendrils see they want to come down around the face very pretty so I think I would just do more of like a low pony if you were going to pony her so she's super cute y'all she's a very very pretty style I'm so glad that I finally decided to give her a try and that I was able to try her in this gorgeous color as well. So I did purchase this wig at Wig Studio One, just to let you all know, and um, hope you've enjoyed the review. I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, staying well. So until next time, don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. See ya.